strategies for learning mixing. Now, mixing could be a black art to some people. This idea of how to get this song, you've got all the beats and the vocals recorded, and make it into this mix. Now, approaches for learning how to mix are different. How to mix requires you to understand how everything works on the particular platform you're working with. It's Pro Tools, Logic, or whatever. Mixing involves many technical aspects used in a very artistic way, and it can seem confusing at times. You know, where to put this, where to put that. When an approach is an artistic skill that has no absolute answer, your outcome and your chances of becoming a better mixer over time increases exponentially. Now what this means is that you can't think of any one approach being the ultimate way to do something. Mixing is no longer a black art form than anything else is like composing. It's all about your understanding in composing all the keys, how to play your major chords, how to play all the chords with a major minor or dominant, understanding how the structure of a song goes. It's important. And then writing the words, of course, to go with it. Mixers aren't alchemists. Good mixing won't be found anywhere. If you got bad stuff, you got garbage going in, you're going to have garbage coming out. A bad recording equals bad mixing, no matter what you think. So make sure the recording process is proper. Everything must be clear. Every second of the vocals on that entire track must be perfectly clear. Also with the background vocals. Make sure the drums are all at the same level on that track. All the keyboards must be clear. It's important to start out with a great basic foundation when starting a mix. Like being a good mix, you go to a bar, you got some guy who's mixing some stuff, or even a chef. The chef comes out, he knows what he's going to do. Get this piece of salmon, get some lime, I'm going to get some uh, olive oil, some of this, right temperature, right time to cook. Right little amounts of ingredients, the right presentation, and he's got something. And not everyone's going to like it, because everyone has a different taste bud. So you have to make sure when you are mixing, and you are mixing for that particular environment, or that genre of music style, you got to make sure you're mixing for your ultimate audience, ultimate person tasting your cuisine. It's really important. So, listen to a lot of different artists that are in, let's say you're doing hip-hop, listen to all-time hip artists. Get your favorite hip-hop artist. Get your favorite mix by hip-hop artist. And listen to it over and over and over again. You'll be like improving by listening. It's important. Because when you listen, you can think of creative ways on how it happened. How that reverb sound? I want to be creative like that. I want to make that reverb sound like this. I see that reverb is kind of big in this club mix. And that bass drum booms in the background. Different compared to this other song. How do they do that? What do they do to do that? It's important to understand to explore different ways and different styles. Because this is all about music. Music is many different things, from classical to rock to jazz to R&B to hip-hop. Music has many different characteristics, but it's all the same. All the same 12 notes are hit, no matter what we're doing in music. The music hasn't changed. The actual chords haven't changed. It's the style. It's the creativity of the artist making that music. So, you must listen. And you will learn the most by listening. This is the most important thing. You'll gain inspiration from your favorite mixes. I get my favorite mix sound. Wow, I love the way that mix sounds. Wow, I like the way it did this here, did that there. You want to make sure that you can almost mimic that at points and be able to like pull it up in command. At command, say, okay, wait, I want to do this. Bam, I can do this. There is no one trick or no one technique. It's important to be creative. But you need to know how every instrument works, whether it's a reverb, a chorus, whether it's a pitch change device, whether you're going to flan something. If there is a secret, it is intangible. Much like a hit record. You'll hear a hit record, you'll never hear it again. You'll hear it beat it, but you'll hear nothing like beat it before again in your life. That record comes and goes in time. It's about technique and vision. You have to see this, you got to hear it in your head and say, wow, I got an idea, and then you got to think about what instruments do I need? I can just plug in here. I can use this here. I can pull a mic pre up and run it through there to get the sound I want to get. I hear in my head, and when you get the technique and the vision, and the vision together, you will have a great mix. And the whole idea is not going to happen overnight. 
you, you got to take your time. You've got to get everything going in the right direction. So you got to make sure, for one thing, I make sure I'm mixing. I don't drink anything. I try to keep a very sober mind, and I never give up. I will take my time. I will um, even leave the mix where it's at for that night, go home, get some sleep, come back the next day, and I'm ready to go again. And I will never give up. I make sure I get the right mix that I want to have for that particular song. And it's important because you build up on these ideas and you get your brain going. When you're rested, you got a really great feel. You can get something going that sounds great.